these thoughts do not mean anything. Today, we begin a practice of meditation. The workbook lessons are guiding us, helping us train our minds to meditate. And the first three lessons, which are nothing I see means anything, I have given everything I see all the meaning it has for me. I do not understand anything I see. These first three lessons are the very beginning of letting go of all meaning of what is perceived. All meaning of the linear perceived world of time and space. It's like the first three lessons are opening the lid of a can, and then as we peel that lid off, we are told these thoughts do not mean anything. So today's lesson is the first lesson from Jesus that is addressing thoughts. The first three lessons addressed perception. And now, lesson number four addresses directly the thoughts that cross the mind of a sleeping mind. And initially, he says, this lesson will be different in the sense that it's not beginning with the idea for the day. It's just beginning with noting the thoughts that are crossing your mind. Just noting them. Whereas our first three lessons were looking around, letting our eyes rest on anything that they seem to light on, and using that as a way of seeing that they images, they just don't have meaning, and that everything that seems to be a meaning has been assigned by the mind the mind that is asleep and dreaming has assigned every single image, every single sight, every single sound, every single smell, every single touch, every single taste. The sleeping mind has assigned that meaning. And now the focus shifts to thoughts. Because thoughts seem to be very intimate. When you attempt to share your thoughts by using words, there's a feeling of sharing something that seems to be very, very intimate. More intimate than the images themselves. The thoughts arising in consciousness seem to be possessed by the mind that is asleep.
And as we begin to see the meaninglessness of the thoughts that we think we think, the thoughts that are crossing through our consciousness, through our awareness, and we begin, just begin to see the connection between these thoughts that we think we think and the world of time and space that we think we see. We are taking our first steps toward the goal of separating the meaningless from the meaningful. Because these thoughts that are just crossing awareness seemingly all day long, minute after minute, hour after hour, day after day, these thoughts and the world of images that seems to be there are actually connected. They are actually the same. And these thoughts are not real thoughts. These thoughts don't have any meaning because they were invented. They're fiction. They're fantasy. They aren't created by God. They don't come from our source. Our real thoughts are, are underneath them, are buried underneath them. These glorious, glorious thoughts that we think with our Creator, these thoughts of pure, pure love, are, are real thoughts. And so, today's lesson is the first, the first attempt here in the workbook where Jesus is joining with us and saying, I want to convince you, I want to convince your sleeping mind that the thoughts that you think you think all through the day are not really what you think because they're not real, because they don't have any meaning. Children who are asleep play with false concepts of the self, false thoughts, false images. And it's no wonder that Christ is beckoning to us, calling to us through every upset, through every perception of pain or fear, guilt, shame, doubt. The Christ is calling to us saying, this need not be. Lay aside these toys of unreal thoughts and come within. Come within to find meaning. Come within to find purpose. Come within to find your true identity as the living Christ. Not a man, not a woman, 
not a human being. Not a character with a role to play. These thoughts do not mean anything. And as we look around in our mind, we see that there seems to be only one station playing initially, and that's the past future channel. If our thoughts were a radio station that was broadcasting, It could call the radio station Past Future. That's the broadcast going on every second, every minute, every hour, every day. Every week, every month, every year, every decade, every century. And these thoughts do not mean anything. Some of you are familiar with Zen Buddhism. Form is empty. Empty is form. And why is form empty? Except these thoughts of form, these thoughts of past, these thoughts of future do not mean anything. Now we can relax as we give our mind over to this beautiful thought for the day. These thoughts do not mean anything. And we can trust that we are being gently worked with. That the realization that this lesson points to is absolutely profound. And yet nothing is taken away. It's just a call to realize, to recognize what has no meaning. And the ego may tempt the mind during the day to put some meaning back onto thoughts, as if there's a reason for these thoughts, as if there's a value for these thoughts, as if some of these thoughts can help you, protect you, as if these thoughts that cross the mind all day, these fleeting thoughts, as if these thoughts can be you, which is the farthest thing from the truth. The very, very farthest thing from the truth. So we now make the attempt to stop and watch and sink within, toward, be still and know that I am God. Toward the truth of our being. Away from the temporary, the ephemeral, the fleeting, and inward toward certainty. Practice with focus on this idea for today. These thoughts do not mean anything.